Hi, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is Stars Virgo. Now, a lot of activity is happening in your solar ninth house this week. It's the Sun, Venus, and Mars, and very soon your ruling planet Mercury is going to move in there at the mo uh, you know as well. But at the moment, it's in your solar eighth house. So, which means if you're which is your second money house. So we'll talk about that first, then we'll move on to the, the ninth house. Um, so the eighth house is like your second money house. It's also very, very good to use other people's resources. So if you've got something going on with business at the moment that you need some support or you're trying to get maybe a bank loan or something like that, then this is news on that could come through. Um, this week, particularly as Mercury does sextile um, Jupiter and Jupiter is sitting in your 10th house of business. So that gives me a very good indication that something favorable can certainly happen this week so you can get news through about that. Now it's a sextile so that means it's an opportunity. So don't take it as um, the deal is done, sealed, signed, and delivered. I mean, an opportunity is just that. I mean, and what you do about it is entirely up to you. So you really then have to step outside and you know go after it and say, hey, the, you know, I'm the per I'm the perfect person for that job. Or um, yes, you know, let's talk further, let's negotiate, or whatever it is. So you have to really, you know, have a um, a place and put your energy into it. Now um, let's go on to the solar ninth house. So with the Sun, Mars and Venus all in the, this position. Um, this is a position which is very very good if you are wanting to learn something new, take on new knowledge, particularly if a deeper understanding or you really want to get into start the study. So over this next month is a great time and you know when Mercury moves in there as well um, in the very near future, I think it's within the next two weeks, then that also is going to give you a, a greater intensity um, of mind power and thinking power and be able to sort out complex sort of issues. So uh, this is also the position of foreign affairs. And with Venus there, some of you may well be um, uh, traveling because it's also the position of traveling. You could be traveling or communicating with somebody, you know, from uh, afar. Okay. Now, if you are uh, traveling um, with Mars there, be careful that you don't gloss over the details too quickly. Okay. So Mars can sort of get you in a very much of a hurry where you're trying to get everything done. Um, and as a Virgo, a detailed oriented person, it's not like you to neglect to double check on something or check the details and this is certainly not a not a time a good time for you to start okay so um, keep that discipline uh, you know keep that discipline in order there and all and also you are you know a highly intuitive person Virgo probably more so than what you even give yourself benefit of so if you get a niggling thought that something's not quite right follow it and um, you know I, I find when I get that niggling thought and I'm Capricorn so I'm an earth sign too uh, so when I get that sort of niggling thought and I check up on something it's generally I've needed to check up on it you know once you learn to listen to your intuition and you learn to know what that niggling thought feels like and you follow it then it won't let you down. Now there's quite a lot um, happening in your solar third house too. Now the third house is ruled by Mercury so I always feel that it's you know as closely attuned to you and right at the moment because it's the area of communication um, and it's the area of media as well. Now, right now, there's a lunar a lunar eclipse. So it's a full moon eclipse. It's towards the end of the week on the 26th. So, um, and any full moon is a good time to bring anything for closure. When it's a, 
when it's a lunar eclipse, then sometimes you don't have the um, control. You know, it will just come to closure. You know, so it's been something that you've been uh, perhaps, you know, pushing under the rug or how, whatever, whatever saying you want to relate to there, then um, probably the time's run out. You have to bring it up, look at it, deal with it, okay? Otherwise, it's going to be dealt with for you. And there are, you know, quite a lot of oppositions to do with between the ninth house and and the third house in your solar chart at the moment. So um, you don't, as I said, you don't want to overlook any details. Now, fairly soon, you've got about one month to get yourself organized. All this energy is transiting around and it's going to, in about another month, um, three, four, and five weeks time, it's all going to land and transit into your solar 10th house. So this is a time for you to get your acting act together because once that happens, then you're going to be pretty busy, okay? And you may not have the time um, once that happens, to spend the amount of time or research on things that you would like to. So now is the time that's really highlighted you for you to do research, study, and delve into delve into anything a little bit um, more intensely on a learning phase. All right. Okay. Have a great week. Thanks for watching. I'm Jennifer Angel.